Faith I Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with Rampage Jackson. I have never met you in person, mm. so it is great to meet you here in uh, Dallas, Texas. Well, How you. are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. I'm actually, you know, really curious about this whole setup with, you know, Triad Combat. I'm, you're a team MMA, you're the team captain right. for the MMA side, right. and Shannon the Cannon Briggs is for boxing side. Yeah, his, I, name, his name is Miss Shannon Biggs. Okay. <laughs> That's his name. Your guys' is shit talking back and forth has me in tears sometimes. Are we gonna get that fight between you guys? Yeah, we trying to get okay. it, we trying to get it set up over here at Trula. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, post fight after the main event, the real event is gonna be you guys announcing your fight. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. So let's talk a bit about this whole setup here, and what made you want to get involved uh, with Triller's new triage combat. Well, Shannon and I have been talking about doing a boxing match, then after that, an MMA match. And they, they, they put in boxers versus MMA, what Shannon and I have been talking about for a while. So it's very interesting. You know, we, uh, MMA fighters, we want to show the world that we're the best fighters. It's time for the, for the fight fans to know that MMA fighters are the best fighters on the planet. So explain to me, because a lot of people, when they're asking me about this, even I don't have all the answers for it. We know that it's in a triangular um, ring, which is obviously going to make it hard for anybody to move around. You're basically forced to go toe to toe. Could you give us any more of the details that we would need to kind of better understand how it makes it more of an even playing field between MMA and boxing? Well, I'm going to break it down like this. We, uh, MMA fighters, we're not saying that it's an even playing field because they don't give us all our tools. Okay. Like they don't let us do elbows and they don't, they're not letting us do all the striking knees and kicks and stuff like that. But we have more we have the, we have more tools that we're used to than what they have. They have the the boxing you know part, but we can we know how to fight in, in close dirty box grappling. Uh, Frank Mir been working on some really good stuff that I'm I'm very excited to see him uh, put it in and play tomorrow. Because uh, uh, if I fight these rules, I'm going to follow uh, Frank's lead on, on what he he's been doing. I don't want to give it away uh, what 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 he got going on. But you guys are going to see a lot of boxers uh, get very frustrated and um, give up. That's my prediction. I, I predict that some of them just going to give up because I don't think they they understand, you know, the stuff that MMA, how we how we fight inside, like the the, the, the grappling the aspect, the clinching. Uh -huh. It's not just clinching what they do. We, we know how to solidify your arms where we can punch you, but you can't punch us. So specifically, just because I'm more on the boxing side of things, so I haven't really Are you watched. Are a, boxer? You a no, boxer fan? I'm a boxing reporter. Uh, 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 so you, <laughs> Oh, so no, 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 I don't, so hey, 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 I'm a, I'm a, um, I like to sit on the fence, I never choose a side, I'm okay. known for that, oh, okay. um, but no, it's, it's interesting, because I really would like to know, in terms of the clenching, what are you guys able to do that's, that differs from boxing? Well, now that I know I'm talking to the enemy, I don't oh, want to. I'm not the enemy, <laughs> I swear to God. Well, do you watch MMA? Um, I have seen MMA, yes. Oh, yeah, but you don't understand it, though, right? Not fully, but I do, I understand some things, but well, I, I can't I'm, say. I'm, I'm, let me see if I can okay. show you, show you one okay. thing. Ooh. <laughs> so now, okay. Now, now I got you. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. You got. You want to do your arm like now? Okay. Now, now I got you like this. Okay. How you gonna punch me? With my arm like this? How you gonna punch me? Can you punch me? Can I use my arm and elbow? No, you can't use your elbow. Oh, so elbow's not okay. No, so how? You, try to punch me. You can't, I can't with this arm. Look at look at this. So look can I this. not just go like? Yeah. <laughs> you can. You can, but ain't no power there. If you got a good uppercut, I guess there is. Hey, okay, I'm glad you think that. <laughs> but you are in, you are in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just one. Yeah, there's just one. You're locked in. There's just one. There's just one of the things we got dirty boxing. Mm -hmm. Something we've been training. We've been we we use it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's something that they don't use. And those gloves mm -hmm. that we're fighting in, that they're fighting in. I'm, I'm holding it like this. Sorry. The gloves that the gloves that they're fighting in. Those are gloves that we spar in. Those are our sparring gloves. Okay. They, so it's not gonna mean any different. For no, those are gloves that we spar in. Right. Okay. Well, it's really interesting. I, I haven't seen the ring yet. I'm assuming I seen, you. I haven't seen. So you guys have not been able to train in a similar ring. Uh, some of the guys have, they they've made stuff in the gym where they roped off the okay. area, but I haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm most curious because if they haven't trained in the ring, I'm assuming you guys have trained in the octagon, whereas they've trained in a regular boxing ring, it's not going to be the same when moving around. Yeah, but um, some MMA fighters, we train in rings and stuff okay. as well. Yeah. Well, look, I'm excited to see what happens. Thank you for your time. It's great to meet you. And hopefully we can get the fight between you and Shannon 
What are you, what are you anticipating for? Uh, what month? Yeah. Hopefully, um, February, March of 2022. 20, okay. March, April, that's be good for me. Okay. I want to, I want to, I want to shut Shannon up. I'm tired of hearing him say, "Let's go, champ." <laughs> I'm sick of that. Be honest. Are you yeah. sick of it? I mean, he, he says it all the time. That's his, that's his slogan. I can't hate on it. It's just a slogan. It's annoying as hell. Do you have a slogan? No. Maybe you should create one and no. annoy, annoy him with it. No, no. <laughs> the guy, that guy's a big kid. I don't, yeah. I don't think nothing annoys him. <laughs> hey, if it sells the fight, so be it. All right, so be it. All right, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye, bye, fans. Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.